to watch, please subscribe to our videos at YouTube and like this video if you find it useful. This is a review of the Frederic Constant Manufacturer Slimline Moon Phase, new for 2013. And this particular version of the watch was very special to me because I built it myself. Um, a blog to watch readers know that in December of 2012, we held a giveaway for one of our readers to travel with me to Geneva, to the headquarters of Frederic Constant, uh, learn how to build a watch, build a watch, and and to take that watch home. That was the contest. Um, so I did it myself, and uh, one of our lucky readers did it. Um, we had a fantastic time, and so this is the piece that I put together myself. So uh, the good news is it works, and it works very well, and I haven't had any problems with it. It was a fantastic learning experience, and I want to thank the Frederick Constant team um, for all of that. It was it was great, and uh, it really sort of uh, allowed me to see a lot more of the benefit of, of what, what goes on at a brand um, such as uh, Frederick Constant. So this watch is part of the new Slimline collection, which has been around for a little bit, and there's a Tourbillon version even. So uh, there's actually two different models in the manufacturer range that have a Tourbillon. Uh, the latest one is this, and you can get a Tourbillon for somewhere about $50,000 in gold. I think it's like $30,000 maybe, in, uh, or a little bit more in steel. Uh, we'll have to double check on those prices, but they're relatively affordable for a manufacturer uh, Tourbillon. And then there's a simple three-hand, and this is the, uh, this is the time. Uh, with no seconds and you have a subsidiary dial there for the date and a moon phase indicator and it contains the uh, in-house made uh, manufacturer uh, FC 705 automatic movement so you can see the movement there um, quite nice and you'll notice of course uh, my initials there so we, this movement is not exactly the same as all the other movements that plate that that contains um, my uh, the engraved uh, initials of mine AA for R.L. Adams uh, that would normally have more decoration on there and some information about the watch I think like the serial number or something like that so this we had a clean plate um, it was hand engraved with these letters and then rhodium plated and so it, it's a little bit distinct look because of my initials but just know that that particular plate would be decorated in, in, a, in a different way there and you can see I like that skeletonized uh, rotor there so you can see the movement. It's a very attractive movement for the price. You're really getting uh, a lot of bang for your buck there. And so there's some nice little details there such as the um, cursive text used um, right there outside uh, the, uh, the the window area for the information. It just it looks very very nice and I like that more expansive um, window uh, to see the movement. It really makes it pop. Now this case is 42 millimeters wide, but it looks like a 44, and the reason is that there's this very thin bezel around the dial, very expansive looking face there, uh, long, thin hands, these thin baton hour markers. It's a very classic looking watch, and what's interesting, it's called the slim line, but you'll notice there, it's actually not that thin of a watch, but this kind of like bowl shape here uh, allows for it to look um, a lot more thin than it is. Um, I like the blue alligator strap here that obviously mixes well with that that blue dial. I'm going to wipe off the dial because it's got smudges on it. We, we all know how much I hate those. I just think it's a fantastic looking watch. Now, I want to note, note something that's important. This particular version with this blue dial and this um, rose gold plated case, you cannot buy. This is a special one that you you cannot buy. There is a version of this watch with a solid 18 karat gold case. I don't do not think that the blue dial is available. This blue dial is normally only available um, with a steel case. So just so you know, this watch is normally going to be available just in a polished steel case. The the entire case is is basically polished evenly, and it has a very classy look. So what I like about this is you have a formal dress watch style, but you don't have a situation where you have a small watch. So you could have a larger looking watch without having to sort of sacrifice that elegance that you're looking for. And it's quite, quite elegant. Um, you don't really need a running seconds hand there. And everything is is adjusted there through uh, through the crown, which is nice. You don't have like a tiny pusher in there somewhere. I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm double checking. I'm like, there, there better not be a pusher. I don't remember a pusher. There's no small pusher in there to adjust the date or the moon phase. So everything's done through the crown. So it's very, very convenient. And here you have one of uh, Frederic Constant's they have a couple of different styles there of uh, of buckle. This one happens to be their logo, which is, well, it's kind of their logo, but it's pretty much their logo there as the for the folding buckle. 
Um, you know, Frederick Constant, you know, they have some of their production is in is is in house. Some of it they use sourced movements from companies like Salida, for example. Um, so, but more and more they're trying to do in house. And one thing which is distinct about this brand compared to others with their in house movements is they're quite affordable. So this watch um, retails a starting price for about thirty five hundred dollars. And you know, there's not a lot of other watches out there. There are Swiss watches that have. Uh, in-house movements for that price, so um, they just they stand out. They you know they do things a little bit differently. They have a slightly different philosophy, but you know they're right they're right there in the heart of Geneva, next to like literally down the street from uh, one of Rolex's uh, plants and one of the uh, Patek Philippe plants, and so they're really in the heart of it all. And so it's it's a it's a good brand, and I, I think that there, a lot of these watches uh, deserve a place in, in people's collections because they do do have a very diverse range. So again, this is the Frederic Constant Manufacturer Slimline Moonface, an elegant dress watch, and you can see the full review soon on a block to watch.